What's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. As you can tell by the title today, we are going to be reviewing the Urban Decay Naked Cherry Collection. Um, it has been a minute since I've uploaded, so I'm very glad to be back. I was taking kind of a two-week break, just like focusing on life and family and stuff. So I definitely wanted to come back with a video reviewing a product or doing a first impression. And I've had this product sitting in my drawer for quite some time now. Um, I think like two months. This has been out for a while. Um, I've seen a few people talk about it, but I don't know. Not like a total review. I've seen influencers promote it and that kind of thing. Um, but I haven't really seen anybody talk about how the product actually performs. So I thought it would be kind of fun to sit down and just play with some makeup today, create a colorful look, do something different. Um, so I do have the eyeshadow palette and I have the highlight palette as well and one of the eyeliners. So if you're interested in seeing my first impression and how this product performs, then just keep it watching. <laughs> All right, so I have scooted you guys in nice and close, and we're gonna go ahead and get started testing out the Urban Decay Naked Cherry Palette. And this kind of intrigued me. Normally, Urban Decay, the like naked palettes, I'm not interested in. The only one that I do have is the original Naked, just because it holds like sentimental value to me. Um, sorry, I'm like trying to get into this. It's so hard with no nails. So I do have a few pieces from the collection. I have the eyeshadow palette here, and then I also have the highlight and blush palette, which I'm not sure how I'm gonna feel about this. And then I do have one of the eyeliners that came with the collection. This is not like the cherry themed eyeliner, but it did get like put with the collection like it goes. And I don't know, they just never really caught my eye. They just like seem like kind of like meh to me, especially since there's so many eyeshadow palettes out there. But we're gonna give this one a try. These are really, really beautiful tones. They're kind of different. I thought we could kind of play around with it and see how it goes. So this is the Unicarton. It's really beautiful and it has the shadows and cherries and you know, like it's pretty packaging. Um, so this is what the actual palette itself looks like. It's not metal. It's this like nice quality plastic. I've gotten to the point I hate the way these are shaped. I don't know, they kind of irritate me. But again, it has the really beautiful cherry design on it. It says Urban Decay Naked Cherry. It's really high quality packaging and I really like it so far. And when you open it up, this is what it looks like. You do get a brush and this is like the typical palette brush that I don't really like those ones. Um, but so you have a selection here of like really pretty pinks and purples and you have some kind of nude highlighting shades here You do have a few peaches and then you do have a darker shade to kind of deepen up the crease play around with and then of course as usual You get a really nice size mirror um, So that's what the eyeshadow palette looks like and then the eyeliner color that I decided to go with is Love drug and this is just like a beautiful like purpley like Plum color it does have some shimmer in it which I typically don't like I like more of a matte liner but that's okay so I already have foundation concealer powder eyebrows that kind of stuff on so we can go ahead and jump right into playing with this guy um, I just want to swatch a few shades that kind of stand out to me so this kind of pinky color here called bang bang it's like a sparkly peachy pink that's pretty it's pretty pigmented um, and then I kind of want to go into ambitious which am, ambitious ambitious which is kind of like a coppery color this is ambitious here that is freaking beautiful like can you see the shimmer on that that's insane um, and then I want to go into young love which is more of a berry shimmer right here that's just one swipe so these are pretty pigmented. They are, they do feel creamy. Um, they don't feel as chalky as some of the previous Urban Decay eyeshadows, in my opinion. Here on the edge, this is Privacy. This is, I would say, like a true like dark cherry color, but it does have a little bit of a brown undertone in it. That's what it looks like right here. Um, it seems, seems pretty good. And then I'm gonna go into Devilish, which is this like mauvey pink. Again, I'm just doing a rough swatch of some of these. We'll see how they perform. This one's a little bit patchy. I don't know if you can see. It is, I mean, we'll see. So I don't really know what kind of eye look I want to do because, I mean, honestly, you guys probably don't care. You're not here for the tutorial. You just want to see how these shadows perform. 
So I think I'm just gonna start like slapping them on my eyeball and we'll see how it goes. First things first, I'm going to go into the shade Feels here, this kind of mid-tone pink mauve. And I'm gonna use that as my transition shade and I'm just going to, wow, it's really dusty. Um, I'm just going to kind of put this in my, a little bit above my crease just to kind of build it. Um, I think I'm gonna do kind of a darker eye look today. I don't know, we'll see. So far this one's blending really pretty. Um, it is a little bit lighter than I expected it to be. I thought it was gonna be a little bit darker, but it, it is pretty pigmented. And it's showing off definitely a lot more like hot pink than it is like a mauve color. I don't know if you can see that. To me, mauve would be like the color of my shirt. It is pretty powdery. I am getting a decent amount of fallout, but I find shadows with a lot of fallout are usually the ones that blend the best. So now I'm going to go into the shade Bing here, which is this like purpley mid-tone pinkish color. And I'm just going to place that in the crease a little bit below where we just placed. Yeah, see, I don't know if you can see here the amount of fallout. It, it is kicking up a decent amount. Um, but again, that's okay. If they blend well, I personally can look past that. I know some people like that drives them up a wall, but This one is really pigmented too. I'm like pleasantly surprised, I'm not gonna lie. I'm pretty pleasantly surprised about this. Wow, again, I'm super impressed. I'm really enjoying this palette a lot more than I thought I would. So now I'm going to go into the shade Devilish that we swatched earlier, this kind of reddish shade right here. And I'm just going to keep building those colors in my crease. Pulling this one a little bit lower, almost onto my eyelid. These are all really pigmented too. All right, so on a flat, like just regular um, shader brush without any Fix Plus or anything, I'm gonna take the shade Drunk Dial here, this really like dark cherry red with um, a little bit of shimmer in it. Um, and I just want to see how this applies with no, like, glitter glue or anything like that. Okay. I'm going to take a more dense brush. That might have been my bad that I just picked a shitty brush. Let's see. Yeah. I mean, you're getting some color, but it's coming off kind of gray and just, like, not pigmented at all. Um, so I'm gonna try and hit this with a little bit of Fix Plus to see if we can't get that color more pigmented and vibrant. So far this is the first one that's not really picking up as nice and this kind of reminds me of like atypical Urban Acacia. Oh yeah, there we go. Now we're talking. So I definitely, with this color and probably a few of the shimmers, I would definitely recommend going in with like a Fix Plus or some kind of like mixing medium, even a glitter glue, something like that, that just really, you know, packs a little bit of more of a punch and is going to make it look a little bit more metallic. I'm gonna just take a really defined crease brush and I'm going to go into the shade Privacy just to deepen it up and give a nice fade. That one's not really mixing as lovely as I would like it to. All right, so I am getting a decent amount of fallout here. I don't know if you can see that. Let me try and dust that away. It does dust away pretty easily. I wanna go in with the shade Ambitious here, this kind of coppery shade, and I'm gonna dab that just on my eyelid just to add a little bit extra dimension. And I'm gonna use my finger to see if we can't pick up a lot of product and get I feel like fingers are the way to go. Wow, that made a huge difference. So your fingers were great with this palette. <laughs> All right, so I finished off my eyes and added a pair of lashes. I did eyeliner and I added some bronzer. Um, these eyelashes, I'm so obsessed with. These are my new favorite pair. These are the Icon eyelashes in the style Trophy Wife. These are literally the wispiest, like most comfortable, fluttery lashes. They look like very dramatic, like eyelash extension so still kind of natural looking I'm obsessed with these and I actually do have a discount code with icon 
Um, if you go to their website and use Lauren48, you will save 30% off at checkout. Shameless plug over, let's move on. So I want to go into the highlight and blush palette now, and I don't have any blush on. I do want to test out this color, which scares the out of me. I'm gonna take an angle blush brush. I don't want to take anything too dense just in case. Um, so just dipping only into this middle pink shade, I'm going to apply that to my cheeks. pigmented this side looks so good this side I don't know what the hell happened all right so this blush is pretty pigmented um, I look like a clown oh my god blush does fade on me really really quickly so I do always over apply which I know is like so aggressive but so now I want to highlight um, this shade here is like a vanilla shade, but it does have like a pinky iridescence to it. So we have an iridescent shade here and then a champagne -y shade here. I'm going to go into this iridescent shade here on my Anastasia highlighting brush, Old Faithful, and we're just going to highlight. This also has a lot of kick up. I don't know if you can see, but. Hmm. It's just like not enough for me. And it's kind of making my blush look a little bit ashy. All right, let's on the other side of the clean brush, we're going to go on to this champagne shade. These are dusty. And we're going to highlight here. That's better. All right. I definitely like the champagne shade a little bit better. Yeah, that's pretty. I mean, they're pretty mixed. Yeah, I definitely prefer this more natural looking one as opposed to this kind of frosty one. It does look a little bit ashy in my opinion. It's pretty, it's nothing to like lose sleep over though in my opinion, I don't know. I don't know if you can see like how dusty these got. They're kind of chalky in my opinion. I mean, All right, so I've gone ahead and applied a lip color. Um, I did not purchase any of the ones from the actual collection. Um, to be quite honest, the colors did not look appealing to me at all. I did not like any of them. There was like a purple magenta shade with glitter in it and then like a hot pink shade with glitter in it and then a nude shade with more glitter in it. Um, and they just looked kind of chunky and I just wasn't a fan of them. I knew I wouldn't use them again. Um, so I went ahead and applied this Rihanna Fenty Beauty um, Stunna Lip Paint in the shade Uncuffed. <sighs> So yeah, that's what's on my lips now, and yeah, I just wanted to quickly run through all of the products that we used today and just give you my final thoughts. So starting with this eyeshadow palette, I actually really did enjoy this. Um, I think the tones were really pretty. They are pinky, purpley, kind of cherry tones, but still neutral. They're not scary. They're not intimidating. I think somebody even just starting out with playing with some color would definitely be able to do a lot with this. Um, you do have some pops of color, but you do have a nice range of neutral shades. Um, you have your nice bone setting shade, which I complain about every palette that doesn't have this, to set your eye, which is really nice. You have a few transition shades. You have a lighter shimmer. You have a brown shimmer, a copper, and then you run into these kind of deeper berry tones here, and you have a nice matte color to deepen up the crease or smoke it out a little bit. So I think this palette is really versatile. You can do a lot with it. You can do a neutral look. You can do a pink look. You can do a smoky eye. Um, there is no black in it or anything like that, and these colors do run pretty warm, so you are limited by that, but if that's 
what you're looking for and then that's why you would buy this palette. So um, it is really pretty. Some of the shades did have a lot of fallout. I was able to just easily dust that away really quickly. Um, they are pretty pigmented for the most part. The shimmers did apply best using a little bit of Fix Plus or even just going in with your finger and kind of finger painting and dabbing it on. It worked perfectly. Some of the mattes, like this color here, Privacy, I found it to be a little bit patchy. Um, but other than that, the others blended really, really beautifully. They blended together seamlessly. This was a super, super easy eye look for me. I literally did this in like 10 minutes. Like it's pretty foolproof. So for the most part, I would definitely recommend this. It's nice sturdy packaging, not necessarily the most functional, like this long palette thing, but you know, that's the Urban Decay brand. That's whatever it is, what it is, but it's thick plastic. Um, and I think it's good value for what you pay. I believe it's $54. Um, and yeah, I think it's worth it. I really do enjoy this palette and I can see myself using it again for sure. This highlight blush trio palette thing, I don't think you need. Um, I, like I said, I really have an issue with things like this that aren't divided, especially when, you know, if it's three highlights, like whatever, not a big deal. But the fact that you have such a pigmented blush, like right in the center, um, and these are pretty chalky. I did put a serious dent in these trying to dig my brush in, trying to get pigment and this setup, I just, I hate this setup. I really, this bugs me. Um, I don't care about the, like the paper packaging as much that like, whatever, it's fine. Um, but this peeps me. I don't like it. Um, I just feel as though divide them up. That way you won't get like a muddy highlight or you won't get a shimmery blush, especially since this one is supposed to be matte. Um, the blush itself is pretty pigmented, I would say. Um, I did put too much on. <laughs> um, but, you know, I think it's it's a good blush. It's a pretty color. It's kind of mauve -y. It goes kind of with the set. It matches perfectly. Um, so it is a nice neutral blush for any look that you would use that palette for. These two highlights, like I said, I really had to dig my brush in there, and then they were really, like, just flaking and super powdery, kind of chalky in my opinion. Um, this iridescent color that like reflects pink really made my face makeup turn ashy. Um, I don't know if I'm just, and I'm, I'm fair right now. Like I'm not self tanned or anything. So I don't know if that would look good on like a deeper skin tone, but it is nice that you get kind of like this golden-y option if you are a little bit more tan. Um, but these just weren't like the most blinding highlights I've ever used. I think there's better highlights out there that I would rather invest in one good highlight than kind of get this soon to be mess. So like I said, I'm absolutely obsessed with Urban Decay's eyeliners, the 24-7 Glide On Eye Pencils. This is in the shade Love Drug. There was another one that I kind of wish I would have gotten. This one to me was just like a little bit too purpley. I almost wish I got like more of like a maroon tone buy whatever eyeliner you want to go with this look that's not a deal breaker the formula is amazing it's there there's a little bit of shimmer in it it is really pretty i mean i used it and it still complements the look well i just wish personally i would have bought a more warm toned eyeshadow especially because i do have a purple like this already but they're great quality totally worth it um if i would to recommend getting anything out of this collection i would for sure say get an eyeliner and get the eyeshadow palette Alright guys, so that's going to conclude my review of the Urban Decay Naked Cherry Collection. I hope you enjoyed this video. As always, don't forget to like and subscribe before you go. Feel free to leave me a comment down below for future videos that you want to see. Um, I have a few holiday ideas and a few more products that I want to test out before the new year. That's so crazy. I have so much stuff I want to do um, before January. So um, I'm hoping to kind of get back on my upload schedule, get my shit together. Um, and yeah, so thank you again so much for watching. Don't forget to hit the bell below so you get notified every time I upload and I'll see you next time. Bye. Just fine before I met you I drink too much and that's an issue But I'm okay